Hello everyone, my name is Jerry BR and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. So we are heading out the other, the east gate, where Arvin originally had told us to set out for. And since we're coming into a new area, that means we can catch a new Pokemon. And I forgot, I wanted to heal at that Poke Center. Uh, they're all healed enough. So I see some sh shinks around this person. I see a lot of, wow, that's a lot of shinks. Um, wait, what, are you part flying? Yeah, you're probably not the one. Oops. Okay, cool, so he cuts my attack. Oh, woo, he's real weak. I should have known that. Uh, all right. I forgot about the Imhal being weak in this direction. All right, the Flash Pokemon. Extension and contraction of its muscles generates electricity. It glows when in trouble. Like if it's got a short or something. So I'm gonna call him Sparky. And he's going to the boxes. What, are you, what Pokemon do you have? Because I'm imagining Hey, new kid. I know it's up around here. Let me take a look at your Pokemon for you. Like, because if you have weak Pokemon, like, you know, level 9, 10s, this is going to be hilariously easy. 11. Cool. And you only had one Pokemon. Oh, that was legit hilarious. Yes, it was. Is this a fair one? I don't know. Oh yeah, I can see it's a fairy on my map. Um, do I want to do it? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, so now having the ability to glide has opened up some new areas for us to explore. Oh, I guess I, sh I do need to mark on my map some kind of where we're headed. Um, yeah, I guess to this. Zinc, and an energy root, and some weak trainer that we can destroy. Backpacker Samuel. Thundershock. I don't think I'm going to be in any real trouble if these are the best Pokemon that people, can, that people have here. And especially if he only has one. I was hoping they would adjust the difficulty up for these guys if I had more badges, but I guess not. Oh no! Oh no! Alright. 
maybe after this Poke Center, the challenges will get a little tougher. What was her name? Adrian, the musician? Alicia, the musician. And her Igly buff. Uh, Swift. Six for the prize. I just want to see. Am I going into a different area? Uh, mm, not really. I think that's going to be the same area. I can tell. Oh, oh, Arvin telling me I'm close. Yeah. Hey, Jagerbra. So, from what I can gather, the Stony Cliff Titan tries to lurk somewhere in this rocky area. I had to look around, but I couldn't find any trace of it. Maybe it's way up high on a cliff or something. Nah, that's impossible. I don't think I'd, it'd be hiding somewhere that tricky. So don't go falling off any cliffs or anything trying to search it out somewhere too strange. Maybe just give your map app a look if you're feeling stumped. It's pretty handy. So now the question is, is it really that easy to find? Or, because he, he told me don't look in weird places, but also I couldn't find it, so maybe he's wrong. Severino? Severino? I don't know. But he has a Jigglypuff. I guess it doesn't matter what I use. Aerial Ace the first time might have knocked him out. Uh, he is a Skiddo. I guess we'll just keep that. That's like ground type, right? Oh no, it's a goat. Oh, Aerial Ace. Will... Oh yeah, he's only level 17. Might and my items meant nothing in something, something. There's a little guy up there. I'm thinking if I get enough coins, he, he'll he join my team. Destroy it. Is he trying to scare me? Suddenly from the bushes, boo, ha! Bet you never saw that coming. But I had to walk up and talk to you for this encounter to happen, Benjamin. Um, plus you sent out a terrible Pokemon. Sleep. Oh wait, I guess. Shit, he's rock. Yeah, I just do the U turn and get out of there. Ah. Oh, okay. He only survived because of sturdy. That makes sense. Out. 
East Mon. Alright, um, yeah, literally just do anything. He'll lick it. I didn't see that coming at all. Guess that makes you a loser. Ah, I this loser one? Oh, they're graffiti. I just thought they had bad taste in clothes. There was that rock wall. There was a that Pokemon. Incredible, you know? Challenged by Laura, the artist. I think losing to you has calmed me down. Yeah. Alright, so what's this? I think at first I thought it was like a light tower or lighthouse, but that's that seems like a dumb thing for here. I also thought a windmill, but a stone windmill? Also seems kind of weird. It's just a lookout tower. I'm hoping I can jump off of this with um, Rygon. It's a Pokemon. Wait. So I'm pretty sure you can there's only like so many of these gimme ghouls you can get because it was you know setting up here and I interacted with it kind of like Snorlax in the original so I'm gonna catch it just in case I'm not gonna use it but I don't want to miss out on what could be a rare Pokemon because then I'll feel real dumb And the luxury ball would be the perfect ah it would have been the perfect compliment to him. Um, the quick dusk time premiere. Mm, we'll use an ultra ball. I think that matches him a little better than the premiere one. Do it again. But maybe I will end up using it. Can I not catch this guy? It's how to catch Remy Ghoul. This site on how to catch him does not actually say how to catch him.
he says I can catch him. Standing in random. Oh wait. Yeah. Gimme Ghoul's other form is its chest form, which you are able to catch, though its spawning can be a little confusing. I have I should have used this much sooner. Okay. is my best chance. Finally, he just had to be asleep. was born inside a treasure chest about 1500 years ago. It sucks the life force out of scoundrels who try to steal the treasure. Oh. Is that what it was trying to do to me? Sucks the life out of greedy people. Oh. No, I know. I know what his name is. It's Christmas. His name is Scrooge. Yeah, like he's after one of the great Tusk Pokemon. Let's see what item. Metronome, okay. It's not a bad one. Yes. Take me back up to the top. I forgot that that was a thing I can do. So I need to go that way. Alright. Oh, is that him down there? That big crab? Grab this. Um, boop. I guess running face first into him doesn't do you much good, does it? I thought I might have found the secret there. I thought he's gonna go up higher. Oh no. My cotton weed should be good for this fight, I think. Stone or stone. Rock and ground types confuse me. So does So he dig mud shot and bulldoze. Okay. Do a U-turn attack. Oh wow. I guess this is a first encounter. If I would have went this direction. Yes, yes. Many uh, stat changes. Man, I could have left him out. He would have been fine. I oh, will send in the big pig. Against the big crab. Okay, I 
I think I'm good. Where where'd he go? Did he jump down? <sighs> right in that crab butt. Ow! That's where my face was. The Titan cloth began eating something. Hey, bro, you found it? And that thing's the stony cliff titan? No cloth has got any business being that big. Is it going to be even stronger now after eating those herbs? Yeah, it usually is. Now don't let your Pokemon faint. Let's watch ourselves, Jerry, bro. Because that's going to be a problem. I'm guessing his fainted last time because it wasn't tough enough for the area. I'll do a regular attack just to see how this goes. Well, this is looking a little rough. Shoulder, let's serve up a helping of defeat on the half shell. Okay, if he has a shelter with 38 health, it should be fine. Okay, it's using Leer, never mind. Uh, I could do a U turn. So I'm guessing both his yeah, attack and special go up. Both his, and his speed. Hmm. And then both defenses down. Send out Yeastmon this time, because why not? Feed the Titan Cloth. That was way too easy. I guess that's the advantage of doing it out of order. If these Titan Pokemon are heesh, I sure don't like having something so tough out to get me. I bet somewhere in here there's more of that Herba Mystica the Titan was eating. Quick, let's have a look around before it comes back. I'm sure there's some here too. by Herba Mystica. I... You and Arvin found the sweet Herba Mystica. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? It says here that the sweet Herba Mystica is good for gut health and that it aids, helps aid digestion. It's great for stomach aches too, or when you want to stimu stimulate the old appetite. This would definitely help Mabo Stiff feel even better. Come on, Yerry Bear, let's get food, some food going.
You're Haya Huacha. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here you go, another of your favorite old Arvin sandwiches. I've never actually had one. It comes with a special Titan badge. The Pokemon League might not recognize it, but I hope you appreciate it all the same. I do not. Guess what's gonna happen? Fear this might happen. Don't worry, I made extra this time for that brood of yours. Sniff, sniff. You want to give your sandwich to Coridon? Uh, I guess. Gans, come on out, my boss. If got some for you too, bud. Get the sandwich. That's it. Small bites, small bites. Crydon will be able to dash now. Why is that an upgrade? Finally. Come on. At least bother to taste it before you swallow it right down, would you? This brew seems to be benefiting from the herbs too, I guess, in its own sort of way. Oh yeah, before I forget, yeah, bro, take another look at this. There's always a Titan Pokemon near the Herba Mystica when we find him, right? Like the book says, it's not like big old Pokemon just happen to like these herbs. It's actually something in the herbs that's making the Titans so big and strong. So does that mean a Titan's lair isn't really some kind of treasure hoard or whatever? It's just a pantry where the Titan keeps its food. Oh, you done with your sandwich, my boss stiff? You heard that right, Yerba. Boss Diff just woofed, right? I... I have to say no. No, 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 I'm sure I heard it. You must have heard it too. Sure you don't need to get your ears checked? Yes. Damn it. See? See that? I knew I wasn't just hearing things. Oh, my Boss Diff, who's my best bud, huh? Who's the best of boys? You are. Yes, you are. It's been so long since I heard that wolf. Wastif is definitely getting better. Ever since I teamed up with you, good things that keep happening. But we've still got two more herbs to go. Hope you'll stick it out until we're done. Thank you. Yeah. Alright. Job well done. Me. And only me. Because that other guy doesn't do much help. Or ta 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 ta. Oh, Professor Seda. Hello, Yerber. This is Seda. I detected that Koridon has regained more of its original power. Seems it will now be able to dash at high speeds while you're riding upon it. 
Now you can have them dash ahead by pressing the left stick. Watch out for trees. Strike a tree. Pokemon lurking among the branches will fall down. Cool. Please continue to take good care of Coridon. Awesome. Alright, well I think I'm just going to actually end this episode here since we completed the um, Titan. So be sure to come back next time. Wait, what's this? I think that's a Pokemon outbreak. If I understand the map at all. But um, we're going to head and do the grass gym because, you know, I have a fire starter. So be sure to come back next time for that gym battle. As always, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!